Scenes from the annual holiday tree lighting ceremony. Hello and welcome to a holiday edition of Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. We'll have more from the tree lighting in a moment. Also this week, holiday mailing deadlines. It's 3D month and a chance to give a most precious gift this holiday season. These stories and more, but first the Army recognized the winners of the 2019 Army Community Partnership Awards in ceremonies this week at the Pentagon. Among the 10 installations recognized, Fort George G. Meade. Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Eric Sprague, along with representatives from the Fort Meade Alliance, accepted the award. Fort Meade and the Fort Meade Alliance were specifically cited for their partnership to renovate Kuhn Hall into the Education and Resiliency Center. We'll have much more on this story in the next edition of The Sound Off. Meanwhile, December is 3D or Drunk and Drug Driving Prevention Month. Even as we're producing the show, the Fort Meade Army Substance Abuse Program is hosting its annual 3D Month kickoff event at McGill Training Center. December is 3D Month because the holiday season typically sees a strong uptick in impaired driving accidents and fatalities. Program Manager Samson Robinson says party hosts should be extra wary. If you're a host, uh, you know, you want to pay attention. You want to really pay attention to uh, people. It's hard to really tell, you know, because some people just have a very high tolerance, you know. So we always equate a person who is under the influence or, or a person that should not be driving, we always equate them to some type of physical characteristics that we see. Well, the problem is that mentally, you become mentally impaired way before you ever get an opportunity to become physically impaired because your BAC level tolerance level for mental is much, much, much lower. Robinson added that it doesn't matter how many times you may have gotten away with it in the past. It drives over, you know, because there is a, a, a possibility. It doesn't mean, matter how many times you've done this. It doesn't matter how many times you have had this down, you have done this route, you have driven home under the influence. It only takes one time. Nearly 30 people die in the United States every day in motor vehicle crashes that involve an alcohol-impaired driver. Elsewhere, many of us have friends and loved ones serving overseas this holiday season. Here's a quick brief on holiday mailing deadlines for service members serving on ships and overseas. If someone wants to send you holiday gifts and cards, have them ship early to arrive by Christmas. On a ship or overseas, the priority mail deadline is December 11th, but for zip codes starting with 093, it's December 9th. The express mail deadline is December 18th, except for zip codes 093, where express mail service is not available. Get information on weight limits and restrictions and all the shipping deadlines online or at your local military post office. Looking ahead, I can't think of a better gift during the holiday season than the gift of blood. The 29th Intel Squadron is hosting a blood drive Monday, December 23rd from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Army Reserve Center. The center is located on the other side of Maryland 175, not far from the Reese Road Gate. You can make your appointment online at militarydonor.com. The sponsor code is FTMead with no spaces. And that's Mead Week for this week. Stay tuned for our next show on the 20th. It's the annual year in review. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a fantastic holiday season. We close with more from the annual tree lighting ceremony. Kids might dream of doing that, but come on, that's not really reality. And I put that in the same same ballpark. I thought, I thought that would be really awesome, but superheroes would do that, and I'm not a superhero. It's actually a place. And we tell this to candidates that come and they want to be astronauts, and uh, they always ask us, and they say, should I go to this university? Should I major in this or that? Should I get this job? And we say, you have to do what you're passionate about, because otherwise you're never going to have enough energy to do all the hard work that it takes if you don't actually enjoy doing it.